Hey guys, this is Tepco Psych Repair, and I'm making another video, and this one's going to be uh, updating your 15.2 Isengard to the 16.0 Jarvis. Now, I want to preface this uh, video here with, I, I'm not a computer guy, I'm a mechanic, so uh, I'm doing this video to show you guys how easy it is and that you can do it. Uh, I'm going to do it step by step in real time. I'm not going to fast forward through anything. I'm not going to talk computer jargon that you can't understand. It's going to be simple stuff. Uh, the box that I'm using here is the uh, M8 box, and uh, this has 15.2 uh, on it now. And let me show you what that looks like here. Just selecting, um, okay, and it's loading up here. You can see 15.2 Isengard. So um, I'm going to go back and uh, force stop that just so that when it loads up the next time, you'll be able to see the difference. I'm using these TV add-ons for my... Uh, add-on stuff it's you can go to TV add-ons and get that it's real simple it loads up all the uh, add-ons for you makes it nice and simple so make sure you exit it out like this every time you're getting out of it also because what will happen if you don't exit out the proper way when you try to turn it on the next time you will get a black screen so um, some of you guys commented on, on my other video that you're getting a black screen you got to exit out properly just like you would a computer okay so let me go over here to uh, settings and show you what we got If you're having any trouble with it, this is the same way that you would go in, go into your apps, open up your Kodi, hit force stop in the top left. You can see up there, Kodi 15.2. So we're going to force stop. Clear cache from here. All right, so the first thing we, does, we have to do, and the way that I'm showing you guys how to do it here is the way that you're going to do it so you don't lose any of your settings. Um, so you don't have to go load and everything again. So what we're going to do here is we're going to Go into the internet right here. And you can see I've already, uh, just to save time, I punched in the Kodi TV download. But uh, to show you how to do that, just, and I'm using the regular controller, I'm not using the keyboard. So put it into mouse mode so you have an arrow. Just click on here and start typing in Kodi TV download. So in order to get, when you're using the mouse to move down the page, you got to take it out of out of the mouse mode to regular mode and you just got to kind of toggle down to what you want now depending on your device again this is the M8 Android device I'm going to go over to the, uh, the Android I'm going to go to the ARM and get the uh, mouse up here again for you All right, so we're gonna go right here to the uh, ARM under the Android. Click on that. And you can see up on the top left, it's downloading, okay? You see the arrow up there in the top left of the screen. It's downloading. So what we're gonna do here is gonna go back home. I'm gonna take it out of mouse mode right there. Gonna go into My Apps. And then we're going to use the app installer. Okay, you can see in the top left it's still downloading. So while it's downloading, if you click on local disk here and you search for it, I'll do it here to show you. It's going to not, it, it won't actually, it won't find anything. It's going to find the one that we did last time, which was when we updated it to the 15.2. But it's not going to show the other one yet. So what you'll have to do is, is go back again. And wait for it to finish downloading. If, if you're impatient, you can't wait, you can always check. You can go into uh, your downloads, which is here. Click on it there, and you can look. Right now it's in progress, it says 34%. So you gotta wait for that to fully download. If you don't wait for it to download, every time you click into it and you try to load it, it's not gonna show anything. It's not gonna, uh, it's gonna say no APK found, okay, which is another uh, comment I was getting on the other video, and this is why. You gotta wait for it to finish downloading. So here we're at, we're at uh, 45%. So yeah, some of the comments I got in the other video was um, they were getting the black screen. I talked about that already a little bit. Make sure you shut it down all the way um, when, you, when you turn it off. And also no APK found, which is 
because of the downloading time. And I'm, I'm using this on a hard wire. I'm not using Wi-Fi. So you can imagine Wi-Fi if you have a slow service. Depending on where you live, if you've got slow internet, it's going to take longer for this to download. So you just got to be patient wait for it to download. So there's other ways to, to do this, and the process for me is a little more tedious. And this is the simplest way to do it and not lose any of your, uh, any of your apps at all, not mess up anything, because it's just going to overwrite the 15.2 uh, to 16.0. Everything is going to run smooth. Everything is going to load up. There's going to be no trouble uh, in losing any of, your, any of your apps, which is the important part. Like I said, I chose to do this in real time on this video so you guys can see exactly how long it, it takes. I did the same thing with the other video, so we're almost done here, 85%. All right, so it's almost done. All right, there's 99. Okay, so it's done. So now we're gonna hit home again. All right, gonna go back into my apps, app installer. going to there we go okay app installer click on it so you can see already it says APK2 so it's already found it we're going to go to the 16.0 uh, click on that all right and in here we're going to hit all so we can change everything we're going to go down to uh, install because I wanted to update all the stuff in here, change everything. Um, and you can see in the top, your existing data will not be lost. So hit install. All right, so it's going to load everything up here. And the uh, the other in video that I did, it already had it installed in it. So it, it showed a different screen after this. It says it can't install it because the other one was already there. When this one is done, it should have a uh, install complete. So let's give it some time to load up. And so far, there we go. So far we're into it for about seven and a half minutes now, all right? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hit, I'm just gonna hit done. I'm gonna hit home, because I wanna see you guys, you so you can see it load up and you'll, it'll have a different screen. All right, so I'm gonna open it up from here from the main page. And boom, there we go. And that's what you should see. That's the uh, version 16.0 Jarvis. That's the new screen there. If you see that so far, you, you did good. So the first run, it's going to load everything up. And what you'll see here is, because uh, I'm using TV add-ons. There you go. You should still see all your apps in the bottom here. No problems. Everything is there. Everything still works fine. Um, Everything is going to load up. And if you look down at the uh, bottom right, if there's new stuff, it's, it's going to update. If you have anything running really slow, all right, it's, gonna, it's got to update. Give it some time to update. So it's doing all that stuff now on the bottom right. All right, but the install is done. So, you know, as far as getting the 16.0 up to date or getting your system up to date for the 16.0, it's done. So everything is here. Everything works good. And that's all there is to it. It's real simple. All right, just follow it step by step and you're done. All right, here it is, I'll open it up again. I didn't shut it out all the way, so you're not gonna have the uh, that little screen there. So I'm gonna exit out of it all the way like I showed you. Exit. And it'll shut down. And that's all there is to it. So just follow the video step by step. I've, I've done this on several boxes. Um, it, it's a simple update. All right, and that's, uh, that's it for now. Any questions, please post them, subscribe, and I'll see you next video.